Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another review video. If this is the first time you're here on my channel, welcome. I'm Alexa, nice to see you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and let's get this party started, shall we? Today, I wanted to introduce to you to some quality basics from a company called Mott and & Bow. And for those who may not know, Mott & Bow is a company that makes premium jeans, premium basics, and trying to bring it to you at an affordable price. I think that my wardrobe, uh, one word to sum it up, is it's a very basic wardrobe. I tend to gravitate towards very neutral colors, uh, navy, black, white, cream, gray. Those are the main colors that I usually tend to gravitate towards and add into my wardrobe. However, there are times when I pick out a few items that are more colorful and introduce it into my closet, but overall it is a very neutral story. The insights that I've gained with time about my style is that I like a very effortless style, very chic, just throw on and go out the door. So I find that basics mix very easy and effortless outfits. It's easy to mix and match black and navy together, creams and navy together. So it's kind of like a fault-free closet. With that being said, I have four items here to show you. The first two are jeans and they are skinny jeans. Lately, I've been gravitating towards skinny jeans again. I have so many pairs of 501s, a lot of ribcage jeans from Levi's, a lot of the wedgie jeans from Levi's. So I'm kind of steering away from the mom jeans from that style for a little bit because I have so many pairs already. And I wanted something just easy and effortless to throw on and give me a little bit of shape. That's the reason why I gravitated towards the high rise skinny jeans again. Anyway, so the first pair I have here is called the High Rise Carmine jeans and it is in this nice blue color. It's a medium wash and I just love the fact that it has a really nice wash in the front here. It's a little bit faded and it is darker on the side. I love the cut. I got these in a size 26 and that is my usual size. I was debating whether I should go up a size to 27 because they are skinny and I wasn't sure how stretchy they would be or how the fit was going to be on my body. So I decided to try the 26 and it fits me so nice. I love how it fits and I love the shape that it gives me. These are 10 inches in rise. So they come up almost to my belly button, which is a really nice fit and a really nice rise. So that is definitely a pro for me. I tend to be a little bit picky when it comes to jeans and how it fits on my body. So these are five pocket jeans. They have the two basic pockets right here on the side and then one point pocket here. In the back, it has two back pockets. I love the fact though that it doesn't have any labeling in the back of the jeans. It gives it a nice and sleek silhouette, which I like. Not a big thing for me to have labels so I am good with the plain in the front and in the back. It has a imprinted brand on the band right here as well, which I like also because it doesn't have that annoying tag in the back of the waist right here that sometimes causes a little bit of itchiness, irritation that I always cut off whenever I have a pair of jeans that has that little tag. So I like that it doesn't come with that. Inside of the front of the waistband, it has some imprinting on here as well. It just has the waist size of 26 and then the length of this is 28. I am around 5'4", so 28 in length fits me perfectly. Anything longer than that would have been too long for me. It does also come in a longer length, which is the 30-inch inseams. However, that's for somebody who is taller than I am. So I got the 28 and I'm very happy with that. And these jeans has a zipper fly. Then it has a button up right there, which is super cute. It says matte and bow on it. I like that detail on there. It has little rivets on the side. 
and basically that is everything about the jeans okay so let's talk a little bit about the material composition of these jeans they are a medium to lightweight type of jeans they're very stretchy they're made out of 93% cotton 6% EME which is pretty much a derivative of lycra material and then they have 1% elastane I'm telling you that lycra and the elastane makes these super super stretchy can you see that they are really nice and comfortable super super soft I like the fact that they are stretchy but they don't sag out like other stretchy jeans are they tend to keep their shapes really nice throughout the day in the past I've had many other stretchy jeans and what I found is that as time goes by throughout the day they tend to sag out a little bit especially at the knees area and that annoys me so much I did not experience that with these which I really really appreciate the thicker than jeggings they are on a thinner lightweight uh, sizing for jeans and denim however they give you such a nice silhouette and they hug in the right places and they give you an overall very put together effect for jeans and I really appreciate that about these and I love the color I think this color is so wearable especially if you're wearing it with a crisp white button down and you tug in the front a little bit carry a nice black purse very classic and foolproof outfit I really like these I think they are super super adorable super comfortable and very easy to wear especially now that I'm wearing more sneakers introducing more comfortable shoes into my wardrobe I like the way they look with sneakers I like it when you're wearing a more cropped sweater or more oversized sweatshirt with them it just makes the outfit so super cute the next item I have here is a pair of denim and they are in the skinny jean style again I'm telling you I'm on a roll I am loving these as well they are in a basic black color which is so easy to wear I have a really good pair of black jeans as well uh, from previous order and they were more of a rip style so I decided to get another pair because these are just plain no ribs, no holes, just very chic jeans. I do like the rib style, but then I'm trying to move away from that because I feel like the plain jeans are just so much chicer. Is that even a word? There go more chic than the ripped jeans. The plain ones are just so easy to wear. It just looks so nice and easy, effortless to put together with outfits. These are just plain high rise. They are also in a 10 inch high rise, which I love. They are also in a size 26 and they are in the length of 28 in sims as well. That in sims and that uh, waist size works really well for me. So they are five pocket jeans, they have two in the front and then a coin pocket on the side as well. And then in the back it's just plain like the other one, no labels or anything, just two back pockets and then it goes down to a skinny style. I believe the opening of the legs are around nine inches in opening. They have the imprinted of the brand on the inside as well. Nothing too different about these. I believe the material compositions for both of them is the same. These are also 93% cotton, 6% uh, EME, lycra, and then 1% elastane. I love the fact that they're so stretchy, but they don't lose their shape. They don't sag out. And when you wash them, the color still stays very nice. I've already washed these once and they still look good as new. All right, so the next two items I have here are just sweatshirt and sweaters. The first one I have is just this plain black sweatshirt, very easy to wear, very basic, nothing really different about it, but they are super soft. It has a nice weight to it. I believe it's 100% Peruvian cotton, which I really enjoy. I like that it's very premium feel. And on the inside, it's super soft against the skin, which I appreciate because sometimes I do have sensitive skin and if things get really itchy or really irritating, I will not wear it. So I enjoy that about this, very easy. I got this in a size medium. They fit really nice oversized on me. I tend to 
to like to size up a little bit when I'm getting sweatshirts. I like the oversized fit. So yeah, not much to say about these. They're just really comfortable, especially on days when I don't know what to wear and I'm just struggling to get out of bed. I feel like I don't want to go anywhere, but I have to run some errands, grocery shopping. Then I'll just throw this on, put it with a sweatpants or even some nice black jeans, skinny jeans, and just throw on some sneakers and shades and I'm out the door. And that still looks put together, especially in this winter, guys. I don't know what's going on, but I've been so lazy and it's been super cold. So I like that this keeps me cozy and very easy just to run around in. Okay, so last but not least, I picked up this turtleneck. It is so soft, guys. It's 100% cashmere. I love cashmere. It keeps you so warm. It's not super bulky. It just gives you such a nice drape and it flaunts your body so nicely. I love, love, love this sweater. It is in a size small. It looks very basic. It's black on the screen. It may just look like a black blob, but I think it's just so chic when I wear it. And I basically think it's a good basics to have in a wardrobe. A turtleneck is a nice layering piece, especially if you're going to layer other materials on top, knitwears, a coat, or anything else that keeps you warm in those super cold weather. So this make a must have for the closet, especially because it's so thin in material, but keeps you very warm at the same time. So very basic, the turtleneck is like this and it fits me just right. I was debating whether I should get a large to get a more oversized fit. But then again, I kind of wanted to get this as a layering piece, like I said, in case I needed to layer under knitwear. I didn't want it to be super big or oversized. Just right is what I needed for that reason. So 100% cashmere, very basic, very easy to wear. Those are all the items I have, guys, to show you in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so so that we can see each other in the next video. And thank you so much again for tuning in. If you have any questions, link it down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. See you in the next video. Bye!